it's really hard to speak sometimes when you have everything to say and also nothing at all to say. My subconscious is messing with me again. My subconscious is so used to things going wrong that it is it's going back to its comfortable state of everything going wrong. And um I've been struggling to say the least. I've been struggling and I just want I just want everything to not be a struggle. I've been fighting my subconscious for the longest time. I kept a journal last year. Just to just to get some thoughts out. Um that long <laughs> I didn't have much thoughts I ran through this journal mostly when I was having a hard time and I'm doing a journal this year too on my iPad I've been started it even before the the year started 2024 but I wanted to go back to this journal because specifically my focus for this year was about the subconscious and how it works. And in the beginning of this journal, I wrote some notes about the subconscious. And that was my focus of the year. And of course, focus derails. But it's always good to take notes because you can always look back to them. Subconscious. It makes up around 95% of your brain power and handles everything your body needs to function properly, from eating to breathing, digesting, and making memories. Every thought is a cause, and every condition is a effect. Whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become reality. Cease talking about your ailments or giving them a name. The only sap from which they draw life is in your attention and fear of them. Clearly, clearly, I have not been listening to myself for some days now. For some days now. It's the mirror project. Basically, you seal your fate and how you invest your energy. The number one problem with me is that for a long time, I had no fear. For a long time, I did not care what anybody said. But for some reason, for some reason, since I gave birth, I all of a sudden started to care. Why is that? I have no fucking clue. My fears... Sometimes life is all great, and then somebody just 
picks out the bad in your life. And you start to realize maybe things are bad. And that's not the fucking truth. But you start to focus on <laughs> the fear of things getting bad. And you invest your energy in that fear. The monsters were never outside of me. They were always inside of me. I just got used to cohabitating with them. So I thought they left and I was healed. I was never healed. I just learned how to deal with them. They are still very much present, still pulling at my strings. Saying, look at this puppet. <sighs> November 2023. I don't know why a part of me feels as if, if I try, it's a scandal. As if it's inauthentic. Like, if I want it, I'll do it. But once I catch myself trying to chase it, it doesn't make me feel good. It actually gets me very anxious. It's part of the reason why I dislike compliments. Because it makes me realize what I'm doing. And then it becomes ungenuine. Yet I want my flowers. Yet I want to grow. November 20th, 2023. Why is this my story? Why am I telling myself these things? Kind of need that for the subconscious notes, but I just got mad at myself reading it back. <sighs> it's the mirror effect. It's the mirror effect of what you focus on becomes reality. Whatever you plant in your subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become reality. Your energy, your emotion, is what plays a big role. In your reality. So today, today, Today we're going to start right. I'm not going to talk about my ailments anymore in a bad light. It's okay to talk about your ailments just so people are aware. But I'm not going to talk about them in a bad light. I'm not going to give them a name. I'm not going to assume something bad is going to happen and bring fear. I'm over it. People are going to judge. People are going to say what they're going to say. You can't control what people say what people do. The only thing you can control is your thoughts and your emotions towards them. I think the problem with me honestly is when something happens I always move the goalpost. I lose focus. 
I get anxious. I get depressed. And sometimes I can pick up on that depression and that anxiousness. And sometimes I can't because sometimes I just wake up from having a bad dream and then everything goes to shit. Like it's been going for the past three days. So we need to fix that this year. I'm tired of writing the same story over and over and over again. I'm literally focusing on the bad. And I understand the, the therapy of of writing my thoughts down and getting rid of them. But that system is not working for me anymore. In 2024, I think I've learned that I just need balance. Just brainstorm all my ideas and whatever sticks, sticks. I'm not going to be hard on myself because it doesn't accomplish anything with my mindset. I need the freedom to storm. And the freedom to just be. It's okay to just be. One day, when me and my mom was arguing about something, I don't remember what it was, but she clearly said, do whatever the fuck you want. And that always sticks to me till this day. Because she's right. Do whatever the fuck you want. There was no source of judgment behind it. There was no source of anger behind it. Quite literally. Not sarcastically. Do whatever the fuck you want. And that is the greatest advice that I have ever gotten in my life from an adult. And I don't know why it sticks with me, but it does. So included in that, I'll say, do whatever the fuck you want. As long as you don't try to hurt anybody. And move in silence. Just know. Whatever. Whatever. You invest your energy in. Will be your reality.